Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fuzzy Walls Mastering YouTube channel. I'm Brandon Weil. You know, back when I was first getting acquainted with Pro Tools, I found that using the Boom plugin to make beats just a really aggravating, confusing, and pretty annoying experience. So I just stopped using that plugin completely until John showed me how to really use it. Now, my guess is a lot of people out there are in the same exact boat that I was, and we'd just like to help you out. Say, so, hey, John, would you be willing to walk me through the Boom plugin one more time so everyone can see? Let's get right to it. So we've got a blank Pro Tools session here. Absolute Grid, Smart Tool, Bars and Beats. Turn on that grid to one bar. Let's get a tempo set up. I could type it in or I could tap it in by hitting the T button on my keyboard in quarter notes. Let's, that changes it. I'm going to add a new stereo instrument track in ticks and name it Boom One. Let's make that a little bigger and add in our plugin as the first insert. Boom. So from factory default, we're going to clear out the pattern, start the swing down there at zero and reduce the overall volume to something reasonable like zero. And let's get a kick sound. Hmm. That's a little better. What about... And you can pitch it down a little, a little more. There we go, that's nice. Let's put one there by left clicking. Let's left click there. You can also left click here or here to add them. You can remove them by right clicking. And let's hear what we've got. I'm gonna add some snare. I don't like that sound. What about... Nope. What about... That'd be nice if it's a little higher pitched. Cool. Let's add a snare here and here. Very basic. Let's add some closed hi-hat. So far, so good. Now, the somewhat tricky part is getting this into Pro Tools to play back with the session. This is how I do it. Go to your pencil tool, click up here in the track, and you'll notice that this here, Pattern 1, is also codenamed C3. So up here in the note view, I'm going to click here in the 3 space, and that adds a measure. Let's add one more. All right, I'm already totally bored. Let's add a second part. It's this simple. So go here to edit mode on boom, go to pattern select, and copy pattern one. And by clicking here on pattern two, it'll paste it in there as a starting point. I'm going to further edit this, make the kick a bit busier, let's make the snare a little busier, and definitely a busier hi-hat, maybe an open hi-hat. Oh yeah. So to paste that in, 
you'll see that pattern two is C sharp. Simply pencil that in. And we have our masterpiece. Wow. Awesome beat there, buddy. I guess it's time for me to put the drumsticks down and pick up the saxophone. With all jokes aside, that was a great refresher course on how this plugin really works. Now, if anybody has any questions or comments on what John just did, if you think that we should maybe make more or less of these particular types of videos, throw those suggestions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, and please remember to subscribe to the Fuzzy Walls channel. Anything you'd like to add, feel free to leave a comment. And when that final mix is ready for mastering, Fuzzy Walls is standing by.